Hey guys, this is Odd One Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. <clears throat> so in today's video, we're going to talk about a little bit of an interesting clan boss team using Demetha. You know, there's plenty of teams out there with the Demetha. There's like, you know, the Myth Hayrest, the Ultimate Myth Hayrest, they have some DPS, they go at 3 to 1 ratio. Then there's some other variants where you use uh, High Cartoon or you will use Apothecary, some different other stuff. And then there's the... The one that kind of does some crazy damage, and that's like the Miss Fu one, which usually uses, you know, Fu Shan as the leader, and at the same time, he's kind of like the one that takes the stun for the sake of spirit affinity, and, you know, the usual ones, Demetha, Harris, Seeker, and a DPS at the end. <clears throat> the most common teams that we usually see out there with Demetha are the ones with Demetha, Seeker, Harris, and Deacon. Like, that's the core of those ones that can make it pretty easy, and don't have that high speed uh, today I'm like I said I'm in Stiff Chocolates account. Thank you, Stiff, for letting me uh, jump in your account and showcase this team. And I was doing a takeover for him. If if you're ever interested in a takeover, just jump in my Discord, check my channels out there, or DM me, and we can talk. And I, you know, I can help you out with whatever you need. I do takeovers for any other area of the game: clan boss, dungeons, arena, Hydra, you name it. I got you. But the team that I've built for Stiff Chocolate is something of a little bit of a variation of the myth full comp and that's i guess i'm, I'm calling it the euro myth the euro myth comp and that basically requires let me just show you that this one that basically requires instead of fushan you're using a eurogram for the sake of his speed lead and whatever else he brings in his kit and that are the poison so <clears throat> you might be having this champion and you're not using him to solo dungeons or whatever other things but you might have all the other champ uh, champions. You might not have a Deacon, you might not have Fushan, and you might have him. Like, it's not mandatory to use, obviously, you, you can use different variations. So if Eurogrim can have somebody else that maybe brings a speed lead and something else in his kit. But the team that I built for Steve Shocker is, like I said, Demetha, Harris, Eurogrim, Seeker, and for the sake of his DPS, we use Tyrell. Because honestly, we didn't have anything better. If we have a look at his account, like there's no obvious DPS that you could use in here that could make sense. So we just I just decided to use Tyrell because this is the one that you know the champion that he had decreased defense at the same time he had Warmaster, had him built. There are now some other champions he just pulled the Draco Morph today. So obviously Draco Morph would be a lot better. But you know, there's plenty of other options. You could even use maybe somebody like a Venom Agent there alongside the uh, Eurogrim with all those poisons or you could use an Anax if you had an Anax build or a Fane. So the DPS slot can be whoever, maybe even with Ninja, but it might require some tweaking with Ninja. I haven't tested that much, but I'm quite sure it can be adapted the same way as the Mythful has a, a variant for the sake of the Mythful. But you know, let me just show you the presets of this team that, that we used. And then I'm going to show you the, the round like quickly, like a few minutes of it. And then we're going to jump in and show you the build and explain how this team actually works. So if you go in here at the comp, the only thing that you need to keep in mind is for the sake of spirit, you need a force champion to be the force champion that's a DPS, obviously in this last spot. In here, because we didn't have any other option right now, we just pulled a Doom Priest. Just put a Doom Priest in there. She's going to be the one that's going to take the stun and the team is still going to go and it's still going to be an easy two key. Like this team obviously has the potential to be a one key team, but obviously it all depends on your gear. It all depends on your champions you're using and so on. <clears throat> the DPS slot, you'd prefer to have somebody that brings decreased defense and weaken. And even if you don't have any poisons, you have, I, I'm quite sure you have enough poisons from Eurogrim. If not, you can just put somebody else in a toxic set alongside with the decreased defense and weaken from the from the main DPS and you're good. So like I said, you can be like a Ragnar, you can be like a Fane, Anax, uh, Jin Toro, Draco, whatever. There's plenty of other options, but... The presets that we have in here, for example, for your game, I just locked his A2. You don't need that cleanser there, you don't need that heal, so it's just a wasted skill. All you need him to do is to do the A3 that has poisons and obviously continuous heals. It doesn't help us that much with those continuous heals, but those two poisons help us for sake of damage. And at the same time on his A1, he has more poison. So that's... That's mostly what Eurogrim brings in here. He brings the poisons, he brings the speed lead, and at the same time, because we have a blessing, on him, he brings the cruelty as well, which obviously reduces the clan boss's defense, so we do more damage. <clears throat> then for the sake of Tyrell, we just locked his A3 because you don't care about that one. You just care about him doing the A2 that's a decreased defense and the A1. Again, the A1, you don't care for Tyrell because he brings decreased attack, but like I said, this was the best option that we had, and this is what we used. Demetha, you make her priority the A... First priority the A3, second priority the A2. 
Seeker Opa with the A1, then prioritize the A2, and then Harris priority the A2. One thing to keep in mind, you want to have Harris booked on the A2, you want to have Seeker booked on the A2, you don't really care about the A1, just care about books over here, you want Demetha to be booked on the A2 and on the A3 fully, and then like, Eurogrim, honestly, you don't care about having books, you can even use him without books, it's just gonna have low, uh, higher cooldowns, and the DPS, again, you don't really care about books. They're not mandatory. Just the last three ones that I showed in here are mandatory. So I'm going to play the round for you, and then we're going to come back, look at the damage that we did, and, you know, we're going to show the builds afterwards. So see you in a bit, guys. And here we are, so basically look at this, 41.17 million damage for the sake of this team and it's, like I said, this is kind of like a budget team. This team can do so much more with, you know, with the right DPS, with somebody else instead of Tyrell, because Tyrell is not the best option in here, but again, as I mentioned earlier, this is the one that we had, this is the one that we used. You prefer to have an attack-based champion in the DPS slot because we have the increased attack that comes from Seeker and it's going to always be on your uh, DPS. I'm quite sure that as soon as he finishes his Draco and brings Draco in this team, I'm quite sure this team can go easily to a one key team because the DPS does not need to be that fast. The only people that you need to be kind of fast are Demetha and Harris. Everybody else can be a lot slower and that makes it pretty easy. And at the end of the day, you don't care about having like damage damage on Demetha or Harris. You just care about hitting those speeds and that's about it. So it doesn't matter what you have to do. Just put whatever you need so you hit those speeds with them and and you're good to go but overall the damage is pretty it's pretty pretty nice you know obviously this could be a lot better like i said you can go to a one key but let's have a look now at the builds that we have on them and talk about the masteries <clears throat> so i guess let's start with eurogram eurogram i basically put him in a retaliation set retaliation and revenge accessories the ones that go over here on this slot they'll give you a five well, let me see can i see one in here maybe any luck come on any revenge piece uh, anyway, so the, the revenge are the accessories that give you a 5% chance. Let me see, do I not have on any of them? 
<clears throat> no, but the revenge pieces are, are the accessories that you buy from the, from the clan shop, and those are the ones that give you a five percent chance to counter attack. So because of that, and because of the the fact that I'm using retaliation on these people, as this is different from the unkillable ones with Manitor, as you don't your HP doesn't go low, so you cannot use the the mastery that gives you a chance to counter attack. So we're relying on the on the counter attacks from the retributions and. You prefer to attack with this team on Affinity because on Affinity there's multiple hits on the AoE so obviously you're going to have a higher chance to retaliate because of those hits. So what you want on Eurogram is 191 speed like I showed you. I'm going to have this one anyway in the description. These are the speeds 294, 264, 191, 187, 171. And these are also the presets shown like delay that one which is just priority. Basically you only need to delay Seekers A2. Just open with A1 and that's it. <clears throat> But yeah, this this is pretty this is pretty pretty nice. So I gave you 100% crit rate, the accuracy to land debuffs, decent crit damage, uh, no crit damage, no attack because the gear is not the best in that. When it comes to the masteries, you obviously want to get War Master and down the support tree. Honestly, you'd like to have Master Hexer and Sniper because he has a low chance to land the poisons on the A1. So having Sniper can actually help you. Do not take Rapid Response. Do not take Arcane Celerity. You don't want to take stuff like that because it's gonna give you extra Terminator. It's gonna screw it over. <clears throat> then for Demetha, like I said, Demetha only has, like, funny enough, we have an half close to 100% crit rate, but we just care about the speed. As you see, barely any attack, barely any crit damage, no accuracy because you don't care about accuracy. You just want her to hit the speed and that's about it. Master is on her, down to War Master, and here you want to get Steadfast because you want to avoid Demetha getting the stun. So that's why you take uh, Steadfast and, and anything else in here honestly does not matter. One thing to keep in mind is... If it's hard for you to hit those speeds, getting a lot of steel can help you because if you get a lot of steel, <clears throat> you have a you you get some extra speed if you're using like triple speed sets or divine speeds or perception. So keep that in mind that a lot of steel can be really useful. That, that's how we could hit the speed, honestly. This is like the best speed we had on the account was the 294, and we barely hit it, but it helped with a lot of steel. <clears throat> then for the sake of Seeker, Seeker we have again in some random sets, almost completed a Relentless. You do not want Relentless in this team. If you get Relentless, the, the team is going to go out of tune because this team relies on having the increased speed on your champions at the right time that uh, Harris places, so keep that in mind. But yeah, Seeker is 100% crit, 187 speed, 212 crit damage and 3.4k attack. Seeker can actually dish out some decent damage as we saw, let me show you the this again so he he had 8.3 million damage that's pretty good like you know what he even had more damage than tyrell and obviously urigrim had more damage because of the poisons but seeker can actually smack so keep that in mind again if i could do retaliation on demetha which would be kind of hard to get those speeds but if i could do retaliation on seeker if i could do retaliation on tyrell or whoever would be the dps i would do it i have a retaliation here <clears throat> But yeah, Seeker, 100% crit rate, 12 crit damage, 3.5k attack, Masteries again, down to War Master, and over here, maybe you want to go Deterrence, because you're always taking the stun, and then there's a chance that Seeker counterattacks, you know? Every, every time you get the stun, there's a chance that people counterattack, so having Deterrence can help. Then Tyrell, again, Tyrell is basically, I didn't change his Masteries, he has the same Masteries that he got from the that he had from the beginning again war master is extremely important and then sniper maybe helps for his other skills but not for clan boss but master hexer can help if you bring somebody up with decreased defense and it has it on a high cooldown if you have somebody that has decreased defense and weaken on a three turn cooldown you don't care about going down the support tree just come back down the uh defense tree and take the deterrence again because this team goes at two to one ratio so your dps's go twice for every one that the clan boss uh, that goes so that means you're gonna always have the decreased defense and weaken in there but yeah for tyrell we have 171 speed 100 crit rate 214 crit damage and 2.7k defense obviously this can be stronger plus 239 uh, accuracy but you know what at the end of the day having him in retaliation helps a ton i didn't show like the best now because it was uh it was void but this team like i said on affinity because of the retaliation sets it can go up to like 50 million maybe or like even more you know it can even go more the better the better you, your gear is the more retaliation revenges you have the better this team is gonna do and like or show the masteries and then harris for harris you 100 percent want to have steadfast she cannot take the stun if she takes the stun this team falls out of sync because she, she's the one that always cleanses the stun and always cleanses the debuff when we have decreased speed for example so that's why it's mandatory to have steadfast on her and again over here you can take a lot of steel if it you know if you need that extra help to get her speed be that high and down the the offense tree you want war master again 
and her speed is 264 no crit rate because you know i didn't have the i didn't have good enough gear to give her crit rate as well no attack no crit damage imagine if she also had some crit rate and some crit damage that would be insane also what's insane about her she counter attacks the attacker when an ally is attacked so basically you don't care about retaliation or revenge accessories on her because she will always counter attack so keep that in mind if you want to build her just random sets give her the speed that you want and then pump out as much damage as you can because that's gonna help us out <clears throat> Like I said, for the sake of Spirit Affinity, because she would be the only one that is Force Affinity, the clan boss will always prioritize her with a stun. So when you're facing Spirit Affinity, make sure you prepare a stun target, which is basically a DPS that's Force, which in our case was a Doom Priest that basically slots uh, in the 171 position, and that's going to be the one that takes the stun. But yeah, this is this is gonna be for the video. This is the the Euro Myth theme that uh, I really wanted to showcase because it's something really interesting. You know, there's there's different uh, there's always different variations, and you might not always have the exact perfect champions for the Myth Fu or for the other teams. So I wanted to show that this is one variation that you can use for your for your account that can actually take you with the right with the right gear and with you know decent enough stats. This can take you to one key Ultra Nightmare. It works full auto on Ultra Nightmare, Nightmare, Brutal, and Hard, you're gonna always hit the top damage but yeah if you do enjoy my content guys don't forget to like and subscribe and i'm gonna see you on the next one peace love take care everyone bye guys